Here we go. And thank you guys for being here. There's 1,100 of you on a Thursday at noon. My first time ever going live Thursday at noon. So thank you guys. You guys are amazing and awesome. Let's take our next caller. This will take a second to load because this is on Zoom. But we're going to connect with Irene on Zoom. And guys, I'm answering the calls randomly. I have no order. It's just it's <laughs> random. Irene, can you hear me? Oh my God, this is so cool. What's up? How are you? I'm good. I just want to say me and my fiance love you so much. Awesome. Much. Hello, fiance. Thank you guys for calling in. Where are you guys calling in from? From Fresno. Fresno. Awesome. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for calling in. What's going on today? Um, I just had a, a question because we already, before I got saved, we already had two kids and TMI, but we've like, we stopped fornicating and everything just because like, I know that I'm not, you know, it's like fornication against God. So we haven't yeah. been with each other for about like three months. And um, I was just wondering because it was right after I got delivered that I realized that. And I remember the person who delivered me told me that if we sleep together, like we can transfer spirits. And I was wondering even after we're married, if because he's he's kind of he's pretty afraid of like deliverance. And I know it's just like manifestations, but like he does, he's too afraid of opening up and like letting people like into that part of him. Like he doesn't yeah. even deal with himself. I was just wondering like if TMI again, but if we did sleep together after we are married, are his spirits transferred into me either way, even if we are married, like. Okay, so that's a good it. that's a good question. And I've, I've answered this a few times. And I think there's a lot of, for me, there's a lot of grayness. I personally believe that once you get saved, God puts a barrier of protection around you. So the Bible says like, if you have a, now, you're, now you're, you're a fiance who's gonna be your husband. So let's just call him your husband because you're saying when you guys get married, your husband yeah. is, is saved. So I'm giving you a verse that's not about him being saved, but let's just say he wasn't saved, okay? So pretend he wasn't saved, even though we know he is, and you guys slept together. The Bible says that when you have an unbelieving husband, stay with them if they're willing to stay with you. And it says that your holiness covers your unsaved husband and your kids and it says otherwise how would your kids be holy and then it says you can win them over by your conduct so i see in scripture there's some type of protection god gives you some type of barrier god gives you to where if you get saved and your husband's not saved god will protect you like it's not an open door is that's what i'm trying to say it's not an open door to transmit those those spirits over to you now if you're not married okay and you are fornicating, which is, if those of you in the chat don't know, if you have intimacy outside of marriage, that's called fornication. It's against God. Fornicators will not inherit the kingdom of God, so on and so forth. Um, then that's for sure an open door. Doesn't matter if you're saved, he's not saved, he's saved, you're saved, you're both saved. Doesn't matter. If you fornicate, you're opening up the door to the devil, period. But if you're married, I believe you have divine protection because the Bible says your holiness covers your family and stay with that person. Like the Bible literally says, stay with the unbeliever if you're already married. And now you now we're not in that situation because your husband is a believer and will be a believer when you get married because right now he's your fiance. So I think you're fine. I would not worry about that. I would not stress about that. I would not anyone that I'm that's listening right now or on the replay or live. Do not withhold from your husband because you're like, I don't want to get your demons. I'm not sleeping with you. It's unhealthy. It's not right. It's not biblical. The Bible says the only time you should withhold from your husband is if you are both agreeing to it and you're doing it for fasting and prayer. And then it says, come back together so the devil can't tempt you. So you actually shouldn't be, for any reason, being like, I'm not I'm not sleeping with you because of whatever, unless it's agreeing upon and it's because of prayer and fasting. So I would say, yeah, you're fine, you're covered, don't stress, don't worry. God has him on a journey, God will lead him, God will guide him, God will open the door, God is gonna make it happen. God will bring that deliverance when the time is ready. And hey, if he's not ready to be delivered right now, I wouldn't push it. I would be like, you know, it's in it's in God's time. It's in your time. I don't want to push you to do this. I want you to want it. Just like I would never force someone to get saved, right? If if I know yeah. someone that like I really want saved, and I I'm like, okay, let's let me try to convince them to get saved. I don't want to convince them to get saved because then I'm gonna have to convince them to stay saved. So with deliverance, I don't want to ever have to force somebody into it because then it's like I'm constantly forcing them to try to keep the doors closed and try to maintain their deliverance. It, he's going to get to a place where he wants it, where God's going to make it happen. And so don't stress. Don't worry about it. You're on your journey. You've gotten delivered. That's your responsibility. You're no longer fornicating. Two thumbs up, 10 thumbs up. Great. I know that's hard to do, especially when you, you got saved after having kids and after living together and all that. 
but I give you 10 thumbs up to both of you. Stay pure, stay holy, don't fornicate, get married, and don't even and don't worry about it. Don't be like, well, he's not delivered and I am. Just, you know, have that intimacy in your marriage covenant and God's gonna work it out. Praise the Lord that he's a Christian. Praise the Lord you're both saved. There's a lot of people in the chat that would be like, I would do anything for my husband to be saved. And so I thank God that you guys both got saved together. And I really believe that God will work it out and his time will come. And that fear of deliverance will go away and there will be a moment where he gets delivered, where God sets him up. And maybe in a service, you know, maybe the Holy Spirit moves on him one day and it just happens. It's not where he has to like, you know, do all the sitting down with somebody and going over all the stuff he's been through, but God will just do the work. And that's just what I would believe for. Okay, thank you so much. And yeah, I really I really appreciate the advice. And he's not he's not completely saved, but he definitely believes in God and I, he's definitely like like the more he watches your sermons, he's the he's the only like person that I watch that that or you're the only person that I watch that, that he likes. Sorry. Like he loves you. Like we always That's laugh at awesome. like your at your content together. Like we love it. Like we like literally bond with you like like when That's it comes so to like cool. Christianity. I love that. I love that. No, yeah, he's gonna he's gonna be so happy when I like show him this too. He's gonna be like, oh my god, you talked to him like That's seriously. So cool. Thank you so much. Well, listen, let me give him a message since you're gonna show him this. And my message to him is just to go all in with God, develop a relationship with God. It's the best decision you'll ever make. Um, be radical, right? We're all gonna stand before God on Judgment Day, and the only thing that's gonna matter is did we serve Him? Did we have relationships? So. For him, for everybody watching this that's on the fence, get off the fence, go all in with God. Once you go all in with God and surrender everything, that's where the fun starts. That's where it gets exciting. That's where the joy, the passion, the love comes. Okay. So yeah, go all in, man. And thanks for watching my content. And I really appreciate you both. And I'm, I'm rooting for you guys. I'm in your corner. I'm cheering you on and praying that God has his way with you guys. Okay, I, I'm sorry. I'm, I know I'm being all taking forever but can you pray for us real quick is that okay yeah, mostly absolutely for him. mostly for him mostly for him actually and what was his name ryan ryan father i thank you so much for my sister and ryan i pray god that you would just touch them right now lord i know that they're going to be getting married soon and i pray god that you would bless this marriage i pray that for ryan lord that your anointing would be upon him i pray god you would just bring conviction to his heart holy spirit i pray you would baptize him in your power and your spirit the way you did with me and that you would just bring conviction to him you just challenge him lord to go all in for you i pray both of them would be radical would be all in would renounce ungodliness and worldliness would just completely walk away from everything that is not of you. God, let them realize that you are all that matters, that we all are going to stand before the judgment seat of Christ and let us just realize this life is a vapor. Nothing in this life matters compared to you, Lord. It's all passing away. It's all fading. And God, let us go all in for you. And just, I pray your anointing on this marriage. I pray for Ryan. Lord, touch his life. Use him mightily for your honor and your glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. God bro. bless you, sister. Have a, have a good day. Thank you so much. All right. God bless. Take care. Awesome. I love to hear it. I love to hear it. She said he's not, you know, he's not really like fully in a Christian, but he believes in God, but he loves your stuff. And so, hey guys, we have all different people watching and I just love to hear it because I have to remember that not everybody watches is completely all in. And we have to just remind people that we got to be all in for God. We got to be radical for God. And that's just amazing. Praise the Lord.